All right, for the last, the only total compliance, total submission will do. Now, no one is better than my next guest, whose brand new book addresses this head on. Here now, Ben Shapiro, host of The Ben Shapiro Show, author of the new book, Authoritarian Moment, out tomorrow. Ben, congrats on the book. It's great to see you tonight. Now, we've discussed this a lot on the, on the angle, but the left wasn't just happy owning entertainment, higher education. Now they're looking to take over the military and other traditionally more conservative spaces. What does this tell us? The renormalization, Laura, of every single major institution in America, American life is continuing apace. And, and everybody can feel this by polling data. Literally the only people in America who by broad numbers feel comfortable saying what they think are people who exist on the radical left. If you're not on the radical left, you have to think twice about it. You're afraid of being socially ostracized. You're afraid of being fired. And it's because the institutions themselves have been changed and, and changed from the inside. All it takes is about 20% of people at any given institution to renormalize the institution along their line, so long as they are intransigent, so long as they are very loud, and so long as there is cowardice within the, within the institution. You've seen it happen in a wide variety of institutions, all the way up to and including places that conservatives thought were relatively safe, corporate America, for example, or the military. And as we see these stories rolling out, there will be blowback. We, we can just hope that the blowback isn't too little too late here. Now, Ben, to your point, um, the Democrats are already paying a price. Now, according to this new piece in Politico, they may be losing ground on this, quote, school equity plans. They're writing that people are scared. Democrats appear to be underestimating parents' anger in places where critical race theory is top of mind. Objections to new equity plans are not the sole province of conservatives, but expend, extend to many moderates and independent voters as well. Uh, ben, they're just realizing this. And if they're doing it to the military with the wokeism, the schools, you're running into mama bears there in school and daddy bears. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, they can boil the frog only so long before people actually start to realize that the frog is boiling and they start to push back. The boiled frog eventually does try to jump out of the pot. We are at that point in the educational system. All the parents who basically had said, I'm sending my kid to school, I'm going to leave them there, and all these good-hearted teachers, they're going to civilize my kids, make them better American citizens. They're beginning to realize, especially after the pandemic, especially after having to zoom into class and see what teachers are actually teaching their kids, that this is a bad idea, that the heads of our institutions don't have their best interests at heart. And you're starting to see that silent majority, that silent middle, the people who up until now have been sort of conflict averse, starting to say, well, I can't be conflict averse anymore because you've not left me the opportunity to be conflict averse. Either I stand up and I protect my kids or I watch as my kids get perverted by ideologies that are blatantly anti-American like CRT. Now, uh, one final point, Ben, and it goes to the point of your book. Now you have the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, that are, are working with PayPal to try to stop funding so-called hate groups. Now, people think KKK, okay, but that's, I mean, it's not really defined what the quote hate groups are going to be. What does this say to conservative organizations or others that could just be thrown into some list just because they disagree on some basic issues? Well, I mean, pick, pick your poison on what issue. What does this tell us? What direction are we going in? This, this is the scariest thing I think that's happening right now, is the perversion of neutral service providers in pursuit of a political end by the left. We saw this when Parler was kicked offline by Amazon Web Services after January 6th, and now you're seeing it with PayPal, which is supposed to be, again, a neutral service provider. You just use it to pay your bills. And now they're saying, okay, we're gonna team up with the ADL, which is an overtly left-wing organization that is very broadly defining the kind of content that they're seeking to target. Authoritarianism doesn't just have to come from the government. It's not just people at the government level telling you what to do. It's the hijacking of institutions that matter in your life to ostracize you from your social community and then push you outside of the boundaries of, of normal everyday life. That's dangerous stuff. It polarizes the country. The left is doing it every single day. Ben, thank you. Everyone go buy the book. The Authoritarian Moment is out tomorrow. And Ben, great to see you. Congrats.